is R6. Um, R5. Let's see R5. That's R5. Okay. R5. R6 down. Um, well, those switches, I don't think we use switches are actually. All those interfaces are enabled. Connection, connection, perfect, okay. So let's see, which route of four is that? Okay, cool. Start from route of four. Um, is that one the shitty? Oh, what have I done? Ah, uh, you see? Hmm, okay, let's see, R5, R6. R2 R1 and R3 I believe I'm just going to be BBLs or something, BBLs are fine just in case BB2 BB3 and BB1 Yes, and PGP in the relationship. I think that's from with, with, with uh, BB3. Okay, so now we should be able to see CDP neighbors finally. Not yet. I think we need to wait 60 seconds. I see the default CP timer. I'm sorry, guys. this is really bad. This is really bad. Oh, one more thing. Full. I'm gonna have to play that as well. Speed and duplex, speed and duplex. Four, three, one. Four, three, one. Let's go for number two. Five. And six. CDP, CDP, okay. I'll do it the same. Okay, two minutes, perfect, okay. So, router 4 connects to switch 1 on FA00. Um, that's on VLAN, we need VLAN 1 and 2, 49, 1, okay, so let's create it. Router 4, FA00. Let's go under the interface. FA00. No IP address, no shutdown again. I always do it, I don't know guys. Why? But I just always do it. Um, and let's start from 192. Encapsulation.1q. We now create the root on the stick. 192. IP address. That's the thing, I'm not sure what, what IP address is um they're actually using in the series. But I assume core is 10.0.0.yy.y which I believe is for the core which is everything um, almost so let's say on real four would be 10.0.0 for example with fluid so 10.0.0.24.4.2 Okay, that's what I think. 49.4. Let's say if root 6 is dot six, dot seven, dot eight, dot nine. So let's let's go for that option here, so we don't get confused. So let's go for ten zero. Forty nine dot four. Let's use. Sorry, much is twenty four anyway. Okay, I hope we can see that. Okay, we can actually copy this kind of and create more. So 192, we need 192, we need 104, 104, 100049, 100, 104. Okay, 104, 192. 
192, 104, 49. Oh, made a mistake. 10, 192. So that's going to be 192. Dot four ten zero one and two dot four one of four forty nine dot four and the last one is twenty four twenty four dot four is that correct one two three four forty nine one nine two one of four twenty four 49, 192, 104, 24. Perfect, okay. You can paste that in. That should work. Hopefully, all of it. Yeah, cool, perfect. So we have our four sub interfaces created now on, um, on the router 4. Yeah, cool. All right, done. Let's go up to let's do let's do a switch basically. So router four is connected to switch one of the interface. So let's go to switch one and quickly set up the trunk. Switch one already have all those VLANs in its database. 24 49104192. 24, 49, 104, 192. Perfect, okay, so let's go there. We'll connect, we'll interface it. Router 4, 1.4. I'm sorry guys, it's really slow, it's just my processor. It's as usual because I'm recording now as well. Look, I'll show you to prove it. Okay, so let's go under the interface and let's set it to trunk. Let's port, um, trunk. So trunk and installation. Don't like you. I don't think you can do action GNS3 ISL, but I just have to code anyway. Switch port. Dot one Q. No. Shut. Perfect, so router 4 should be able to, well, it's not going to be able to communicate with anything at this point, but um, we're going to set it up soon. Um, switch 3. VLAN 49, I would, I, I believe this is the SVI on switch 3, it has to be an SVI, switch 3. Switch 3, where is switch 3? So what we can do now, at this point, we can actually, 49 dot, we said, Six seven eight nine. So we're gonna ping forty nine dot nine. Repeat a hundred times. That's how I always do for testing. So if we go under there and create VNAN forty nine uh, forty nine nine with twenty four bit subnet. That ping should start working in a second. Is that two is that X one B one is a half to place BB one half to place BB one hundred to place Oh you see? As you can see the ping is go no it's not. Ten zero forty nine that's in that's trunking, that's trunking. Ah, okay, 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 I think I know what the problem is. Yeah, because switch 3, okay, this thing is not working because router 4 is connected to switch 1 and switch 1 in between switch 1 and switch 3 there's no trunk setup. So, um, let's set up the trunk. Um, 